Gemini, beautiful soul, how are you? My name is Alicia, welcome, welcome back. This is Empath Tarot, where spirits' messages directly correlate with being highly sensitive here on planet Earth. Now, in this reading, we will be pulling some messages that will help uncover any abundance blocks you might be experiencing at this time, money or love related. If there is a certain amount of money you would like to manifest into your beautiful life or that special somebody, go ahead, hit that like button and subscribe. If you're interested in receiving a personal reading with myself and Spirit, all of the details will be down in the description box below, along with my husband. If you haven't yet, check him out. He is over at 7D Tarot. And be sure to stick around until the end of this reading. We will be pulling a final message from the universe. Okay, so Jem, remember this, right? Your mind is so intelligent that if you don't have it focused into something um, of an actual action step, um, most likely you're going to get lost in the energy. So because... Um, when you are such a high intellect being as you are, being a Gemini, um, you're one of the more intellectual, um, higher intelligent beings, uh, you know, in the Zodiac, it's just known, right? Geminis are really smart, really um, charming, really funny, really witty. But if you don't have a focus, if you don't have your energy channeled into something that allows you to be connected to who you really are, it's easier, it's easy to get lost here and the, the energies of planet Earth. Um, so just always have something in you that, that you do in your life that leaves you feeling connected to who you are so that you can pivot to that whenever you're feeling dense, whenever you're feeling lost, um, you can pivot to that action step and it will allow you to channel your energy into it. You reconnect back to your soul and then you can go about your day feeling connected and feeling authentic for you. We do see here, do see here that there is a new opportunity that recently arose with that Ace of Pentacles, a new beginning. Again, one that um, you may even be feeling a little bit uninspired around, or you might not be feeling like very confident in this particular new endeavor. Again, this is where we would say have um, that thing in your life that you do that's like a soul-inspired um, activity so that you have something that you do that reconnects you back to the conversation with your inner being, right? Because your higher self, your inner being is always guiding you. Um, and you are guided by the feeling, like it, your inner being lives in your heart. So this is your affirmation. When I follow my heart, I am suc abundant, successful, and free. So when you have a relationship with yourself, um, the relationship with yourself looks like this. Because um, if your awareness is on anything except for your internal state, um, then your focus is on everything else, right? And you're going to mimic that energy. So you always want to have your awareness in your internal state, in your heart. You can practice this, right? This is a practice. Um, and you can do this with sound healing. You can do this with... Um, uh, Generally, when you do something, you get busy, uh, exercise, um, create something, build something, whatever it is that you like to do. After you're, when you're in that moment of where your mind is taken off of it and you're just in the act of doing something, right? That's why exercise or creating art, something where you're just doing, you're not thinking, you're just doing, that's going to be when your greatest downloads come in. And so anytime you are, again, feeling, you know, worried or anything along those lines, but you do find that you're not doing anything and you're just thinking, that's where you are going to want to go and, um, and, 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 and literally just go and get lost into something, some type of uh, creative endeavor, uh, exercise or anything that allows you to just um, release your mind, really. When we think, we lower our frequency. When we think, we are not listening. Um, and so we, we always want you to be listening specifically right now because it does, you are going through this transformation. Um, and, um, it does look like you're going to be meeting people going into different, um, groups, environments, maybe joining a course of some kind, but the three of cups always, um, represents, um, going into social gatherings. Um, maybe you even went into a recent social gathering and maybe from being in this recent social gathering, you felt like you needed to please these people, or you felt like you were just not yourself. You were over exuberant or you were just um, not feeling, maybe you didn't feel like you fit in even maybe, you know, you're around these other people and you just don't feel like you fit in. You don't feel like yourself. You don't feel like you can be yourself. You don't feel like you want to be there. Um, well do know that from any moment of contrast, that's what produces change always. So if you are in a situation that you're just like, I don't like here, I don't feel like myself. Well, good. Don't feel like yourself and recognize it. And then what happens is you're like, good, then something better is coming along because this isn't for me. You know what I mean? So just because you're where you're supposed to be doesn't mean you're going to end up there. You should have seen how my life used to look beforehand. Whoa, it was like a 180 difference from where I, how I live today. Um, and um, it's really just about recognizing what you do like. Focus on the things that you enjoy. Focus on what you want. And anytime you say, I don't like this, I don't want to do this, it just means that the universe is like heard you and the new thing is coming in. And so again, don't get fixated on the thing that you don't like. Start to really um, 
pay attention and be mindful about the things in life that you do like because you're always creating your life from the experience you live. So you always want to be focused on what you're learning and what you love because then your life unfolds and manifests into that. And so even if you, at this point you don't, you don't like being around your family or you, know, you don't want to be in the environment you're in, you don't want to be in the job you're in, well, great, no problem, understand it. Because when you understand it, you're like, great, something better's coming. Well, what's that something better that I like? Hmm, let's let, what could it be? And if you don't know what it is, then let life's experiences show you. But you're always being guided, beautiful soul, and there's always a plan. So no matter what you think is worst case scenario, it's always best case scenario. And we just always want you to listen, right? Listen, listen, listen. You got to quiet your mind and you got to tune in to the energy that's in you. But but Jem, remember, right? Like if you have a lot of content going on, a lot of thoughts, emotions, and, and so forth, you're going to feel like there's a river rushing inside of you. And then you're going to feel like you're rushing. You ever notice that? I'm rushing. I got to make more money and lose this weight and, and, and meet a soulmate and have a family. I'm running out of time. And we always feel like we're rushing. And it's not. It's just that you feel the energy moving through you. Um, and so that's why we always recommend have things that you do that calm your energy. I like to start my day and work out so that it clears that energy, that rushing feeling. Um, and then at least if I do feel a lot of energy, I'm coherent of it. I'm like, oh, a lot of energy change is happening. Great. But if I don't clear my energy, uh, actually tr total transparency, I am off my schedule today. I didn't clear my energy. I literally feel like there's a river rushing in, inside of me. You could tell by how I'm speaking. I'm speaking quicker. I'm more agitated. My energy is more sharp. I'm not as bubbly. You can just feel it, right? So feel my energy, see my, how I am be showing up. And this is what um, density feels like. This is what a lot of energy feels like, right? I was thinking this morning, I'm more off my game. This is what it looks like, this is what it feels like. So if you mimic this at any point in your life, it's time to clear some energy away, right? So you can, you can have a bath, you can do something, get your hands busy, but I always like to exercise. It's always the fastest way you could go for a walk. Um, but either way, um, learn from this experience that you're seeing from me because uh, this is what life is all about, right? Is learning and we just wanna bring note to that. Because either way, spirit is guiding you into this new opportunity. Here we have the Knight of Cups and we have the Ace of Wands. That is passion. That is love. So it does feel like either love is coming in for you or some type of new opportunity that's really going to, maybe you're going to move. Maybe you're going to get a promotion and you're going to get um, promoted and you're going to move somewhere or your work is going to send you somewhere. That Ace of Wands is about travel as well. Maybe you're going to travel somewhere, meet somebody. But either way, whatever you're called to do is going to come through and clarity is going to be had for you. So just... Just follow your heart. Remember, it's always about following your heart. And even in those moments where we think that things are not unfolding as they should, they always are unfolding as they should. And we just have to get really attuned to the energy of our, our, our inner uh, being. And that means that if you can't attune to it, you're going to have to get calm, right? Like after this, I'm going to go and most likely, um, honestly, I feel really taxed because when you don't exercise, you feel tired. You think it would be the opposite. I feel so tired. Man, I, I, uh, I would, if, if you ever feel, if you're feeling really tired in your life, like fatigue, you got to start exercising. And the best way is to start, um, uh, you know, you don't even have to lift weights, just cardio. Cardio gets the energy moving, right? So, and not like the slow pace cardio for like two hours, forget all that. Like actually get in there, get your heart rate going, get your sweat on, right? Get your, get, get it going for like, you know, 30 minutes a day is, is, is good enough, more than enough. Um, and you're going to have so much more energy in your life. It is incredible to start a movement practice. Um, and, and, and it's great to have all things, right? Like you want to have, I feel like you want all the components in there, yoga, Pilates. I feel like you really kind of want to do it all. Mobility, mobility and yoga, hundred percent. Um, Pilates for sure, because it strengthens your core, right? You want to have a little strength training in there. I feel like you just want to kind of dive into all the pieces, but if you haven't ever started, um, start on, uh, start with cardio just because it will, um, help give you more increased energy and then you'll actually feel like you want to like do other things right try other um, ways of exercising and, and, and it will help but please exercise if you're ever feeling tired if you're ever feeling low vibes start an exercise routine it, it will change your whole life universe's message dwell on what you love asking someone to change is like pruning a tree neither will ever be the same again scarier still is that you can't quite know in what new directions they'll grow i wouldn't change a leaf on you Beautiful soul, just follow your heart and take your awareness from changing anybody or doing anything different or someone has to change for you to be okay. Take all your awareness off of that. It's a distraction. It's not real. Just, again, dwell on what you love. Focus on the things you love. If you're in a relationship and, and you're only seeing the bad, start dwelling on the things you love, 
right? I know at, it, at first the energy will start to move. It takes about three days. So anytime you do something new, it's going to take about three days to acclimate and to see the changes. So be observant of that. Anytime you start something new, tell yourself for three days, I'm just going to focus and stay consistent. Your mind's going to come in, give you new ideas, give you new insights. No, say none of that. I'm staying consistent with this for the next three days. And I would build off of that in three days. Spirit will give me some insights, right? When you remain consistent in your life, that's going to be when data really starts to collect. We love you so much. We hope you enjoyed your reading. We hope there were messages in here for you. And if there was, like and subscribe. We truly appreciate you. Spirit loves you. I love you. And until our next reading, keep shining, baby.